gray and whoa. Okay, that's it's not. Kinda... It's not damped. No, that's heavy. Are you ready for it? No, we're gonna get copyrighted now. I told you before. Don't my mess voice with. Is too bad. Don't mess with T Swizzle. T Swizzle would appreciate me. Uh, no. So oh, I am back with the Ford Maverick, and I was the primary driver of the Ford Maverick this week. Megan and I had some sort of differing schedules. We've been running around all over the place in addition to some other test vehicles and press events. So we've been extremely busy, but she'll chime in in a second in this review. This is the second time I've had the Ford Maverick, and this is the Tremor Edition. And there is a lot to like about this version of the Ford Maverick. So out here with the Ford Maverick, and this is the Maverick Tremor Edition. And if you're gonna get a Ford Maverick, the Tremor Edition is the way to go. Now this 2023 Ford Maverick in Tremor sort of package is about as good looking as the Ford Maverick can possibly be. And I don't think the Ford Maverick is a bad looking truck, it, not at all, I, it, not the slightest. I've had the Maverick before and I had a lot of nice things to say about it. And I think in this Tremor Edition, the Ford Maverick looks a especially good. You'd have to decide if the Tremor accents are for you, but honestly, I don't think, I don't know why you wouldn't. I mean, they look good, that kind of goldy orange trim. It definitely looks truckier and tougher. It accents everything good about the fact that the Ford Maverick looks more like a pickup truck than some of its competition. Well, it doesn't really have a lot of competition, the Hyundai Santa Cruz, which looks more funky. And then there's the upcoming rumored Toyota small pickup truck. So for now, if you want a trucky looking small pickup truck, the Maverick is kind of where it's at. Did you have to scream right there at the end of what I was saying, child? I hope you were getting eaten by a bear. Yes. Um, so as a self-proclaimed truck aficionado. Yes, but... What do you think of the Maverick? Okay, but I'm gonna have to... This is the truckiest version of okay. the Maverick. You're the Tremor. A, you're a Tremor. So, this is the Maverick. Ford Maverick. Tremor. Tremor. Ford Maverick Tremor? Yes. Why so many words? The Tremor edition. Oh, what does that mean? It Does means it, it has more off-road stuff. Okay. So, I have not taken it off-road. No. Neither did I. S neither did Jack. It's very clean. So, I don't really know. I can't really tell you what I think about the off-road capabilities. But... I don't mind the way it looks. It's nice looking. I like this color. I like the weird things on the hood, like the stripes. Is that the Tremor thing? Yeah, it's got a graphics package. Yeah, I like the graphics package. I think the wheels look cool. I like the little gold thing. Yeah, the like orange gold accent. Yep. Well, sort of, yeah. <laughs> well, like it's kind of fun. It is on the air. It is on the valve stem, which is kind of cool. Yeah, is that like if you're off-roading and it's all muddy and you need to find it, you can find the orange. Uh, I mean, I think right? if you're an off-road enthusiast and you need to be told where the valve stem is, you got well, problems. You never know. Okay. But, so I do like that. It's a little small. When you say I'm a self-proclaimed truck gal, I like a big truck. Like, the biggest truck. So, like the F-150. Yes. Yes. That's a great, that's the my F favorite The F-150 Raptor. Yes. Is that a thing? Yes. Have we had that one yet? No, we have not had an F-150 Raptor. Okay, hey, Ford, F-150 Raptor. Yeah, because I want to drive that sucker. Yeah, yeah. That's what I want. That's like literally what I want as my day, day No, driver. you want the Bronco Raptor. Yes, I do want that. But I'd also take the... the F-150 Raptor. So you want well. me to have an F-150 Raptor? No, I want to have them both. Okay, you want both Raptors. Yeah, and then whichever one I feel like driving that day, that's what I want. All right. Um, We're I know getting I may not look like by Raptors. the kind of gal that wants a giant truck, but I really do. So That's literally all you talk about. <laughs> so I'm a little thrown off because it's gone out on the tiny side, but you said that's like what it's supposed to be. It's supposed yeah. to be tiny, but I don't really get it. It's for like utility. Like you don't need a full-size truck, so you get But like this. I do. Well, no, you don't need a full-size truck. You I do. want a full-size truck. You're saying people who do not want, need, who want a truck, like with the open back and all that kind of stuff, right? Exactly. Is that what you're saying? But they don't want a giant F-150. Exactly. Which I don't even understand why you wouldn't, but. Who wouldn't um, want an F-150? But no, I mean, for a small little truck, 
I like it. I think it looks pretty nice. What do you think? Uh, check you out like the bed. It? Utility. Okay. So what good is a small pickup truck if you can't use it like a pickup truck? And the Maverick's bed is pretty great, actually. It has a lot of utility. Not a damp tailgate. It's a little bit of a bummer, but it's a decent size. I'll put the measurements up on screen for those of you that are interested, but for sort of size context in terms of like the visual, I'm six foot six. And I think that this is a pretty good size bed for a truck this small. The sides are deep. You've got a decent amount. It's almost kind of a squarish shape. Like you could put a lot of stuff back here. If you're comparing it to something like the Ranger, it's not all that different. And the Maverick can, carry up to 1,500 pounds in the bed. So you're getting a fair amount of utility in a vehicle of this size, which if you're being honest, is probably more than enough for most people. So um, it doesn't have a trunk, it has a bed. It has a bed. Obviously it's a truck, trucks well, don't have trunks. Yeah, not, I know. I mean, the people know that. Um, I'm gonna get canceled for mansplaining. Exactly, thank you. Um, so I do like the bed. It's pretty big, it's called a tough bed, what does that mean? Oh, that's just, just the lining. It. A spray and bed liner. Yeah, so you don't scratch up the paint. Oh, that's Most trucks have bed liners. A spray and... Whoa! Okay, that's not. Kinda, it's not damped. No, that's heavy. Yeah. You didn't prepare me for that. Well, I was afraid it was going to like come crashing down. You got to keep it cheap somewhere. Dang, that, that was scary. Okay, it's heavy. Isn't it? It's not that heavy. No, that is heavy. I think you need to lift some more weights. I think you're... Ooh. Mansplaining you. Now, I clearly can fit back here. Yeah. Well, yes, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a pretty good size. Like, this is what, remember when I told you to go pick up that TV the other day? And you were like, how am I going to do it? And I was like, put it in the truck. Yeah, because we had a Maverick. Yeah. And you were like, I can't get the TV. And I'm like, kid, you can put it in the truck. So that was kind of cool. Yeah? It's good for day to day stuff. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Like, that's why I want a truck. That's why I want you to have a truck. Like, you need something, you need pine straw, you need whatever, throw it in the back. But that's the point. This is for that stuff. You don't need an F-150 to go yes, pick up a do. small TV. Yes, you do. Well, you want one. I do, because they look so cool. Um, but I do I do appreciate this, the niche that this is filling. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like it. It would fit a lot. But groceries would go flying. Well, yeah. Don't put your groceries back here. But is that what these little things are for? Uh, I mean, among other things. Yeah. Could but. you get a, could you get a thing? If you had a truck, like for your groceries, could you get a... Oh, yeah, yeah. Like a bed thing? Like a You can get dividers and stuff. Yeah. I mean, you can get a bed cover. Yeah. Oh, so if like if it rains. Right. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, and then you could go on a trip. Exactly. Yeah, no, not bad. I like it. Now, let's talk about the Tremor package for just a second, because this is a really cool option package to put on the Maverick. Now, I know some of you might be like, why? Like, why would you put the Tremor package on the Ford Maverick? Well, let me tell you why. This thing makes the Maverick a little bit more kind of off-road capable, and I mean for real off-road capable. One highly underrated crossover vehicle is the Bronco Sport, because it lives in the shadow of its bigger brother. The Bronco Sport fully spec for off-road duty is actually a very decent little SUV, and the Maverick inherits a lot of that capability. So what you get with this package is you get like a 0.8 inch lift, you get Falcon Wild Peak tires, you get two more traction control, control modes, you get like the mud and ruts and the sand mode, which is nice, and then the rear diff is actually different in this. You have sort of twin clutch packs that allow more control uh, to vary back and forth between the rear wheels and you can access all of that from the little control panel behind the transmission. So you can access the traction control modes, you can lock it into permanent four-wheel drive, and then you can lock the rear differential, sort of sort of act like a rear locker in a you know four-wheel drive and low range and stuff like that, even though it's not. So this is a unusually capable vehicle for something that's based on a crossover. Are you going to want to necessarily do like Bronco Raptor things in the Maverick trimmer? No, of course not. That would be ridiculous and stupid. But can this thing actually kind of perform off-road? Yeah, I think it can. I wouldn't be afraid to take it into a little bit more tough stuff, ground clearance permitting. So if you have the desire to do some light off-roading and you want to make sure that you are 100% covered, the Tremor package makes a lot of sense. It adds $3,000 to the price, and the graphics you see here are $1,500. I could do without the graphics, they're fine, but $3,000 and you get this in XLT, now you're starting to talk about some good value, and that's kind of the Maverick's whole point. 
Now, one of the things that I don't love about the Ford Maverick, and it doesn't have anything to do with this Tremor edition, but I'm not a huge fan of this turbo four-cylinder, and it has nothing to do with the amount of power that it provides. It has to do with sort of its refinement, its character. It doesn't really have a lot. It's kind of buzzy. Um, there's plenty of get up and go. It's running through an eight-speed automatic, and it's going to the all-wheel drive system, and we'll get into that a little bit more in a second, but it's just kind of blah. It's just kind of average and it returns just okay fuel economy. So when you compare this to something like the Maverick Hybrid, which has a much more innovative powertrain that seems more well matched to this vehicle's kind of utility, right? It's sort of a more approachable utility vehicle in, 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 like in contrast to a full-size pickup truck. I feel like the Maverick makes more sense as this sort of urban runabout that's returning sort of decent fuel economy. This is getting somewhere in the kind of 23 to 26 range around town this week and I've been driving it a decent amount mostly suburban and right now I'm just kind of barely getting 26 miles per gallon so that's very okay in a vehicle of this size especially for something that's based on a crossover but it's just kind of that I don't know there's something about the engine that just doesn't feel really special not that it should um, but 277 pound-feet of torque it just feels like it should have a little bit more oomph for the lack of fuel economy or a little bit more fuel economy for the oomph, if that makes sense. So behind the wheel of the Ford Maverick trimmer, there's not a ton to talk about here because the Maverick trimmer drives pretty much like the Maverick. And if you haven't driven the Maverick or if you're new to watching reviews about the Ford Maverick, um, the Maverick drives really well. And that's to be expected because this is based on the same platform as the Ford Escape and the Ford Bronco Sport. So it's based on a crossover platform. It's not actually based on a body on frame pickup truck. And so the Maverick rides like a crossover. And when you have a pickup truck that rides this smoothly and this comfortably, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice to be able to drive around in a utility vehicle that feels so comfortable the suspension is nicely damped it doesn't rock it doesn't like move all around the only ding I would have against it um, is sort of like two small things the first is the Falcon Wild Peak tires are a little bit more off-road biased. So you feel a little bit more of the road texture, a little bit more jitteriness. I personally, doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um, if anything, it makes it feel a little more trucky. So I think that's totally fine. The second thing is the powertrain. This has the Turbo 4, which I've probably already mentioned at this point. And it's powerful enough. It's plenty powerful enough, but it's just not really interesting like it's a little buzzy um, there's just it doesn't really have a lot of character to it and it also doesn't get super great fuel economy which I probably also mentioned we are averaging around 23 24 miles per gallon which is not awesome in a vehicle this small but I've been driving in pretty much suburban back and forth traffic so no highways I think you can get up probably realistically I would say around 26 miles per gallon uh, but that's about it other than that this thing drives great um, I would actually be curious to take this off-road, I mean like actually off-road, just to see kind of how it feels and what it's capable of. But if you're looking at a Maverick because you are more interested in its on-road manners, you will not be disappointed. Like this is an incredibly comfortable little utility vehicle to live with on a daily basis. Now, as a six foot six dad of a very tall family, one of the most important things for us is how we fit into vehicles. And as you can see here, I have plenty of space inside the Ford Maverick. In fact, I am incredibly comfortable. These seats are great. The legroom is great. The headroom is great. You have a ton of space inside the Ford Maverick. Now, I do have a couple minor quibbles, okay? This one is in the high 30s. If you fully loaded a Lariat trim, Tremor edition, you would get up into the mid 40s. That is a lot of money to pay for something that is made out of pretty hard plastic. Now, you could argue that with a pickup truck, utility is key, and this interior is extremely functional and extremely tough. I don't disagree necessarily. In fact, if you listen to what Megan has to say about the interior, she was very forgiving about the interior for the price. I sort of led her into being like, it's a little bit much for this much plastic, but she was okay with it. So I was surprised by that because she loves a good interior. But the other thing is that 
The infotainment. I like Sync a lot. I like Ford's infotainment. I like their gauge clusters and I like Sync. And this just gets the regular analog gauges and it gets like the toned down version of Sync in this one. And it just feels a little bit cheap for what it is. So there is that. I mean, this thing in the high 30s and you're getting kind of the blah version of, you know, Ford's infotainment. But other than that, from a usability standpoint, the interior is fantastic. You got your transmission control down here and your drive modes. You got the steering wheel relationship is great, like tons of space. You've got the door cards have that sort of extra space for water bottles of various sizes. No one really does trucks like Ford. Ford they knock trucks out of the park. And the usability of the Maverick Tremors interior, it's pretty clear. I like the interior. Do you? I mean, it's kind of like blah, but like in like a trucky way. Well, yeah, it's like, this is it an looks affordable utility. truck. Yeah, like it looks definitely like it's made for utility and it's not made for luxury. It's not supposed to be a luxury vehicle, right? No, no, yeah, no, no. It this does is not supposed look to like be that. cheap and affordable. But I like the little turning dial thing here. The oh, gear. the trans, the gear selector? Yeah, yeah I like that a lot. Um, I like the buttons. It's got all the little cooling and the little AC buttons are cute. Um, the seats are fairly comfortable, I think. Yeah, the, I seats, think it's are, pretty roomy. the seats are comfy. Yeah, and I like this. What is this, like a bluish, grayish? Yeah, kind of a blue gray yeah, interior. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Now, yeah. I don't, These this door is weird. Yeah, they're just trying to style. Yeah, know. but like, I don't think this thing is weird. No, don't this, close it into me. I didn't, but this thing with like these four bolts, like what is that? It's just for style. It's because there's a lot of plastic and they're trying to hide the fact that it's all plastic. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. That's not my favorite, but I don't mind the rest of it. The steering wheel is a little tiny dinky for me. Like if I'm driving a truck, I want like a big truck. You want the Raptor steering wheel. Yeah, in the Raptor. Yeah, in the Raptor. Please. Um, but yeah, but no, I like it. And I really do like this color. And as I like, oh, it says Tremor on the back of my seat. Yeah, it's got a little fancy yeah, dub because like it's a Like the gold trimmer. stitching. Yeah. Now, it's unfortunately, this one, you haven't driven this much, but um, this one is probably high 30s. That's, I don't think that's bad. You, you don't do? think that's bad? No, um, I actually would have thought it would have been more than that. I think that's oh, actually okay. I didn't hear that Ford. She thought it was yeah. more than that. I, I would have thought it was more. If you'd asked me, you should have asked me. You can load it up fully loaded. This thing's like 40 something. You should have something. asked me. You really missed a, a thing there. Oh, how much it was? Yeah. Oh. And see if I could have guessed it. How much do you think it is? Well, now I feel like I don't know. I would have said 45. Oh, that's fully loaded. Is 45? Yeah. Is this one fully loaded? No. Oh, yeah. I would have said 45. Oh, wow. Um, okay. So, so fully loaded, you can get it for 45? Yeah. I don't think that's terrible. What it, what's the differences? Like what is missing? Yeah, like heated seats and like, you know, some a couple options like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wouldn't buy a fully loaded. I think the best value of this is to get it a little cheaper and keep it in no the No one load. asked the people didn't ask you what you would buy that. Well, it is me. my channel. No, it's my channel. Oh, now it is. Yeah. Why don't you try the back seat? I would buy it fully loaded. Now you knew when it came to a vehicle the size of the Ford Maverick that there was gonna be a little bit of a catch for someone who is six foot six. And well, this is where the catch is. It's in rear seat legroom. Don't kid yourself. The Maverick is a small vehicle. It's meant to be a small vehicle, but it's, well, not really possible. I could scoot the seat up and it would compromise my comfort, but I could ride behind myself. And Megan likes to drive with her legs more fully extended. Neither of us could fit really well back here. She's able to squeeze behind. I'll show you that here. You found one of the limitations. Yeah. I, what did I say when I opened the door? Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Anytime I see a back seat that's like so tiny and I know I'm gonna have to squeeze in, I get upset. But actually, I mean, it's not comfortable. Like I my knees are real tight. The seats are comfortable though. The Do seats you have are you sat back here? Uh it, well sort of. Yeah, like filming. the seats are comfortable. The quality is it's real cushy. Like it's cushier than I would have thought. Um, so I don't hate that, but the person who's sitting in front of me would be a tall person, like me or Jack who drives way far back. Um, so kids would be fine back here or if the driver was a little shorter, but I mean, the seats are real cushy, so yeah, I don't hate it, that, but I wouldn't want to go like a family of four on a trip back here. No, for our family, it's a yeah. three seater. <laughs> what with one person laying to the side? Well, I just mean spreading uh, their legs. The fourth <laughs> person, yeah, the fourth person yeah, doesn't yeah, get to yeah. ride. We all have way too long legs to, to fit back here. Yeah. So yeah, the Maverick, if you've got a young family or a smaller family, that's gonna give you a little bit more versatility in terms of carrying people for our tall family. And to give you an idea of how tall we are, I'm six foot six. Megan is the shortest member of the family at just under five nine. Hallie, our 13 year old, is almost six feet tall. And Ella, our 17 year old, is about six one. So the Maverick's a bit tight 
for us. But then again, Ella can drive and Hallie will be driving soon enough. So I don't really think we need all the space that we used to. All right, so should you buy the Ford Maverick in Tremor Edition? Well, to be honest with you, aside from the looks, I was gonna say you absolutely should because I think that this Maverick looks about as good as the Ford Maverick can possibly look. This is like peak Ford Maverick right here. But I have a few catches, some caveats, okay? If you were gonna buy the Ford Maverick in Tremor Edition, I would probably look at an XLT model with some choice options. Tack on the Tremors $3,000 kind of add up. Don't get the graphics. I, I wouldn't get the graphics. Um, I would just get the Tremor package and some of the options you want. If you could get this vehicle for kind of the low 30s, let's say under $35,000, there is a lot of vehicle here, okay? You get all the utility of the pickup truck bed. You get that sort of versatility you get the four-door cab, you've got, you know, space for whoop, smaller people. And then you also get all of the off-road options at a pretty reasonable price, to be honest with you. I think $3,000 for a kit this comprehensive with the uprated tires, with the new off-road modes, with the lift, you know, um, it's got skid plates. I don't think I mentioned that when I was talking about it. It's got skid plates, it's got a trans cooler. So you've got a lot of stuff added in here for the trimmer package. I think in XLT trim with the Tremor package, that is the way to go with the Ford Maverick. Now, you don't get that sort of hybrid efficiency, but then again, if you wanted to actually off-road, I'd probably rather take the gas mileage hit and have the torque. I know I kind of dog the engine a little bit in both the engine and driving portion, but I would probably take the hit there just to have the added power if I was actually gonna go off-road and I actually wanted the Tremor package for that. So I hope you found this useful and well, as usual, I'll let Megan take it away. All right, so final thoughts okay. on the Tremor? On the Tremor. The Tremor. Maverick the Ma Tremor. I was like, it's, that's not what it's right. called. The Maverick Tremor. Maverick Tremor. Um, that's like the Ford, what did I like? Bronco Raptor. No, no, the um, Expedition. What oh, the King thing? Ranch. King Ranch. Yeah, is the is Raptor like, like King Ranch, Ranch, but it's like a, the tough, for, it's yeah. like a style. It's or whatever, a better right? version. So I would definitely get the Raptor because I do, I love a tough truck though. Like You mean the, the Tremor? I would get the Tremor. What yeah. did I say? You the said other Raptor because your brain is on I, Raptor. <laughs> you're the one who keeps bringing it up. I want it. Because you want the Bronco Raptor. I do. Um, I would definitely get the Tremor version of this truck because I do like the touches. I think it makes it look you a little cooler. You want it to look as tough as possible. Yes, absolutely. If I'm going to get a truck, I want it to be a tough looking truck. Like I don't like the trucks that look like right. sissy trucks. Um, I Now, it, this is a little too small for me. So if I was comparing this in like the scale of like Ford F-150s, that's not what I'm doing though, right? Yeah, well the problem is you can't get an F-150 for under 40,000 really. I don't care. I still want it. <laughs> so you'd rather um, have an F-150 work truck. But are there other small trucks like this? Like is this a mm, genre or is this like kind of a new of. thing? Sort of. So there's the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Okay. Which is a more funky looking one. Okay, I know I'm not gonna like that. And yeah, you would not like the Santa Cruz. I think the Santa Cruz is all right, but you wouldn't like it. And no. then there's a rumor Toyota's gonna come out with a small one, but they keep denying it, but they totally probably So this are. is like the only- This is the only trucky looking tiny truck. Okay, well then if that's the case, I'm gonna give it like a nine. Okay. Like, I think it looks really good. I love this color package though, like I said. Like, look at, did you, have you seen, shown them the grill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, They've it like, looks really cool. While you're talking. Oh, they have. Yeah, the Movie magic, magic of editing. Um, and I love like the orange accents or the gold or whatever that color is. Is, so, it, is it all that color accent? Like no matter what color you get, oh, is on the, the tremor, tremor always orange? I think so. I think yeah. all tremors have that kind of orange gold look. Oh, okay. And then no matter what, but what if you get like a red truck? I don't think they sell the tremor in red. Oh. I think it only comes in certain colors. In colors that go with the orange. Exactly. They're not that a smart thing, Ken. Good job, Ford. Yeah, good job. Um, that was really smart. So I love the way it looks. I really do. If you're in the mood for, or in the mood. In the mood really, for you're not really in the mood for a yet. car. Um, if you're in the market for a small truck that actually looks like a truck, I think this is a great one. I like the interior. I would probably give the interior. It's a little small, but like I said, if we're talking in the small truck category, then I think it's okay for that the inside's a little small, right? Yeah. Um, I'd probably give the inside like a nine. I mean, it looks like a truck. It looks the way I want a truck to look. I think it's a little plasticky. You're plasticky. Well, for forty thousand dollars. Okay, I I okay, I do. What I, I'll agree with you. I don't love the doors. They're yeah, you don't like all that the little funky pockets handle, and the funky yeah. door handle are not my favorite. Let's go an eight. Yeah. Let's go an eight. Um, you didn't drive it. I did not drive it. Yeah. Um, you like the way it drives? Uh, that's actually one of the best parts of the Maverick is the Maverick drives because it's based Why on Why didn't a, I drive it? 
hey, you were busy this week, and I was in Charleston, and they dropped out. The timing didn't work out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't like that. I like to drive them. Yeah, but the Maverick drives more like a crossover. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I, I love it. I really like the way it looks. And especially if it's like the only thing in this category. Uh, yeah, the only thing that you would want. Yeah, way to uh, go poor for Santa it. Cruz, I think, is too funky for you. Yeah, I don't like a funky truck. I want a truck that looks like a truck. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. So, I would I would buy it. Y'all should at least check it out. If you want a small small truck, I think you should check this guy out. Um, if you want to hear more from me, and like like a review where I actually drove the car more, right, honey? Well, I mean, I was also in the review. Yeah. <laughs> they don't care about that part, though. Well, yeah, but that's where the driving part <laughs> is and all that. Um, but... Again, I really do like the way it looks. And if you want to hear more, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Of course, ring the bell. That's the most important part. <laughs> it is? Well, yeah. Why? Because then they get notifications. Oh, about that there's new videos? Yeah, so it pings them. Yeah, hey, yeah, ring the bell. new videos. Like, ring it and ring it and ring it. Yeah, on our yeah. channel. All right. Come here for all the good content. And me. No, just... The hair, was, okay. the hair was tangly. Okay. If anyone has curly hair, they understand. You no. wouldn't. No. Um, you could never. Um, with hair this luscious. Okay, that's um, all going in the bloopers. So I was good at Wii Sports, remember? I was good at those Wii Sport brain games, remember? At the, oh, yeah. Remember how, my, how I beat you on all those? those at the brain games? games? Yeah, you know what I'm talking you, know you remember when we used to play those together? You don't remember, do you? Yes, of course oh. I do. I'm just thinking that's the least oh. athletic thing you've ever said. <laughs> I could beat you at Wii Sports brain games. Yeah. It's well, like I tried even... to beat you at Mario Kart, and I just, me and Princess, what's her name, just... Princess Peach. Princess Peach just fall right off the ledge. <laughs>